Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Imagine a creature that can live for weeks after having its head completely severed. Sounds like something out of a horror movie, right? But for the common American cockroach, Paraplanata Americana Asterisk, this astonishing survival ability is a documented biological reality. You might even stumble upon a headless roach still scurrying around your kitchen, leading to the chilling question. Is it real? Yes, absolutely. The American cockroach, a reddish-brown insect often found in warm, damp places, possesses a suite of incredible adaptations that make it uniquely resilient to decapitation. Unlike humans, whose heads are central to almost all vital functions, a cockroach's body is far more decentralized. When a roach loses its head, its neck typically seals off by clotting, preventing massive blood loss. Their circulatory system is open and operates at a much lower pressure than ours, meaning they don't bleed out rapidly. More astonishingly, their breathing doesn't rely on their mouth or brain. Instead, they breathe through tiny holes called spiracles located along each segment of their body. These spiracles directly supply oxygen to their tissues via a network of tubes called trachea, completely bypassing the need for a head to respire. It can even continue to move and react to touch for a significant period. So, how is this biological marvel possible? The key lies in their decentralized nervous system and unique physiology. While they do have a brain, supraesophageal ganglion in their head, it primarily processes sensory input from the eyes and antennae. Most other behaviors, like walking and reflexes, are controlled by mini brains called ganglia distributed throughout each body segment. These ganglia can operate independently, allowing the headless body to stand, move, and react. Being cold blooded, cockroaches also require significantly less food and energy than warm blooded animals, allowing them to survive for weeks on minimal reserves. Ultimately, what kills a decapitated cockroach isn't blood loss or lack of oxygen, but dehydration. Without a mouth, they cannot drink, eventually succumbing to thirst after about one to two weeks. This astounding ability highlights their ancient and incredibly robust evolutionary design. Thanks for watching, please subscribe my YouTube channel for more interesting videos.